Welcome back. Today we are going to look into polynomial. Polynomial is actually is an expression of an unknown. For example, I give you here p x, which means this is an expression of x. Okay, of polynomial f of polynomial. with the x, unknown x ok, for example, I can say in general I can give you px equal to a x n plus b x n minus 1 plus c x n minus 2 and up to your any constant where you put q x power of 0 ok, let's go from start with n and up to 0 where here my a value cannot equal to 0 and my a value can be any real number. It can be any value except for 0. Okay? And then for my n, n is a non-negative integer. Or you can say that set for C. Okay? So now, we just take this particular unknown where here A, X, N. Okay? The N value can be varied from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So let's say what is the specific name for the specific N value. When N equal to 0 Okay, this we call as constant polynomial. When n equal to 1, we call this as a linear polynomial. When n equal to 2, it's a quadratic. It's quadratic. And then we continue. When n value equal to 3, we call this as a cubic. When n value is 4, it's going to be quartic. And when n value is 5, it's a quantic. And it's so on. So the n value is continuous. And the names also will continue for the specific. So now, <coughs> excuse me, let's say my n equal to 0. So we write, we try to find the px when we have a different n value. Let's say my maximum n value is equal to 0. So let's say my n equal to 0, so a x power of 0, which means it's going to be a constant, a only. Okay? Let's say now we go for linear. Let's say linear n value is equal to 1. So it's going to be a x1 plus b x1 minus 1 because n minus 1. Okay? So your final product is going to be a x plus b. So, it is a linear polynomial. Okay. Now, let's look into n equal to 4, for example. So, it is going to be a x power of 4 plus b x power of 3 plus c x square plus d x plus e. Okay. It is going to be have 5 terms for the polynomial of quantic. So my a value here cannot equal to 0. It can be any value. It can be a positive value, negative value, or it can be a rational value, for example, set 2. It can be any value, but not equal to 0. Whereas, for my b, c, d, and e, it can be any value. It can be 0, can be positive integer, negative integer, or any rational numbers. It can be anything. It can be 0 also. Okay? So this will be the quartic polynomial. Now, let's look on how we are going to do a factorized or we are going to represent this into a factorized form. Okay, let's say now I give you P 
x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square plus 6 sorry plus x minus 6 okay plus x minus 6 okay so I want to represent this as something like this I want to factorize x minus 2 a x plus a x square plus b x plus c okay so x multiply with x square you get x cube so we come back to this I want to represent this polynomial something like this factorized so to do this we got two method the first method is a long division okay we call it as a method long division first method okay so for first method you can do something like this so x minus 2 so the polynomial original form polynomial we go inside 2x cube minus 3x square plus x minus 6 so what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate okay so what we're going to do is we are going to eliminate this term first the first term so to eliminate that so how I can make it this as x cube so what you did is 2x square so 2x square times x you get 2x cube negative 2 times 2x square you get negative 4x square so you minus you will get 2 minus 2 you get 0 negative 3 minus x you get x square sorry x square and then this you can just get plus x minus 6 okay and then now I need to eliminate this okay so what I do here is x and here is x square so I plus with x so x times x you get x power of 2 minus 2x so when you minus you will get 0 3x minus 6 so you can just copy this down so you get 3x and then what is you will get minus 6 okay so in order to eliminate 3x so I just multiply here with 3 plus 3 so you can be 3x minus 6 okay 3 times x you get 3x 3 times negative 2 negative 6 so you minus you get double 0 therefore here I can rewrite my answer So I'm going to rewrite my answer. It's going to be 2x square plus x plus 3. Okay. So first method, if you want to factorize the polynomial into a linear and quadratic. Okay. Or if you want to factorize this and then you can use the normal method. The normal, how we can factorize this. Okay. So this is the one of the way. Let's look into second method. Okay, the second method is going to be comparing the coefficients. So for second method, I just rewrite this a x square plus b x plus c. So what we can do, we expand this, okay, for comparing the coefficients. So I expand this, I'll get a x cube plus b x square 
plus c x minus 2 a x square minus 2 b x minus 2 c okay and then I rearrange is going to be a x cube plus for the coefficient of x square you get b minus 2 a x square and then for x I got c minus 2 b x and then the constant is 2 c so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do comparison so by comparing the original equation and the expanded equation so for the coefficient of x cube here is a and the coefficient of here is 2 therefore a is equal to 2 ok and then for c so here is negative 6 and here is negative 2 constant ok we can go for the constant so here is negative 6 and negative 2 which means negative 2c equal to negative 6 so c equal to 3 then the last but not least you can compare either x square or x it doesn't matter ok maybe I just take um, this it's up to you you can choose either one so c minus 2b equal to 1 so c is 3 minus 2b equal to 1 therefore negative 2b equal to 2 negative 2 so x is going to be sorry b not x b going to be 1 ok so just take this and then substitute inside so a equal to 2 b equal to 1 and c equal to 3 ok so this will be the second method which we use comparing the coefficients so we just compare the coefficients we will expand this and then we compare it ok so with this we stop our introduction to the polynomial see you in next class